Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial regarding the tire upgrade on a Xiaomi 365 Pro electric scooter from the standard 8.5 inch tire to an upgraded 10 inch tire this is mainly because the original tires uh, get a flat really soon really easily and they are really hard to replace so I tried using uh, solid tires but the whole scooter shakes a lot with them so I'm gonna do an upgrade on the frontal tires only due to the fact that the parts needed for the back side of the scooter have not arrived yet but I will post a follow-up video regarding this as well as for the needed tools and parts we will of course need the inner and outer tubes a couple of flathead screwdrivers in order to pry open some protective covers as well as the protective wheel cover you will see later on wrenches this is an 18 size wrench click it with an extender hand pump and this adapter and of course we will need a cutter or some other type of sharp tool additionally we could make use of a dremel tool to cut down the screw holding the, the mudguard as well as the protective plastic probably as we will see further on so I will start by removing this reflective tape from here all you have to do is slide a sharp knife under this we'll put this to the side be careful not to I will do the same from the other side So apparently this sticker is a bit hard to come off so I'm gonna use a um, hair dryer to heat it up a bit So once these plastic covers are off, we will have to remove these bolts. But I will also have to cut these cable ties from here because I will need the full length of the cable. So just cut it with a box cutter. And for this, I will need size 18 wrench and I will loosen these bolts from here. So this bolt is really hard to screw off, so I'm going to take the, the electric scooter off the table and I will loosen it on the ground because it's really hard for me to loosen it up here. So I finally managed to unscrew these bolts, they're really screwed up really tight. And the next step 
is to gently remove the wheel with the motor on it. I will use a size 20 Torx and loosen all of the screws. And with a couple of flathead screwdrivers, just gently pry open this wheel cover. So after another of couple of minutes of try, uh, I finally managed to remove this cover. Initially, I tried removing only the inner tubing, but unfortunately it didn't come out, so I was forced to try with the cover again. What I did was bring smaller flathead screwdrivers and I pried little by little this cover up. And I ended up using bigger screwdrivers and even the plier to stick it under and just force it little by little until it came off. I uh, did this job last week on another scooter and it came off a lot easier. Anyway, so this is the inner workings of the, the motor. Uh, I really don't know why it came off so hard. And now I can remove this plastic cover from here and set it aside. And now what I can do is easily remove the inner tubing. It's time to put the new tire on the wheel. Uh, this one has uh, directional indications. So since the wheel will stand like this, and this needs to go like this, this is the way it goes on. I put the first half of this tire here it goes really fast on and pull the other half as well this 10 inch tire theoretically should go on a lot faster because of its increased diameter but we'll see how it goes this sort of job is best done with an extra pair of hands so I managed to put this on now it's time to deflate the inner tube all the way so I will first push this in this hole here For now, put this plastic cover back on, so the inner tube stays in place, easier. Okay, and I'll put this cap back on, or even better, this tubing because it has a metal part instead of a plastic one and it will hold the inner tube a lot better as well as allowing me to deflate the inner tube at will. So now I will just force the inner tube in between the outer tube so after quite a few minutes I managed to ease the inner tube in by slowly pushing it inside and carefully pulling the outer tube now that it is in I want to inflate it a couple of times 
to let the inner tube jiggle into place. So after a couple of times of inflating and deflating the wheel, I made sure that this is in place. So I can put this wheel cover back on. Make sure that the holes align. So the cover is still not 100% on, but I'm thinking that maybe I can manage to fasten it using the screws a bit. So I'm not tightening them, but just putting them on and I'll see where that gets me. So I'm gonna try tightening them in an X format, in a star format. Maybe it will auto tighten this. So I'm just gonna tighten a bit here, then here, then here, just like you would do with uh, the wheel of a car. Yep, this works. So do not tighten one after the other because it will be one sided but instead tighten them diagonally and this will definitely pull the protective plate back in its place okay I only inflated the tire a bit so that I can rest assured that it stays there so before removing the screw that holds the mudguard in place, I tried the, the scooter once again with these parts here in the upward position. I wanted to see where it touches and how much it touches. And I found out that it seems that on the pro version there is enough clearance right here that I don't need to cut off the length of the screw holding the mud guard in place. I don't need to cut anything from the from the spacer as well. On the other scooter, the M365 regular, there was less space here. And I needed to unscrew the, the, the one screw that is holding the mud guard in place, as well as I needed to make sure the washer is all up the way all the way up in the in its place. So now I'm just gonna put this back to place and I see that as you can see it is not going into the to this uh, to its space. I assume because I put the spacer in backwards to give it an extra clearance but now I need to chip off this plastic a bit so that this washer goes right into the place. So what I'm gonna do is take a pen and just mark mark the space where the this washer needs to go. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So this is just your regular Dremel tool. And now I'm gonna mark it, I'm gonna cut it away at the marking. So it's quite hard 
cutting the plastic away in such a manner that I allow the camera to pick up something. But let's see if this did the trick. And as we can see, it did. So the plastic got cut away just enough so that the washer uh, goes in between. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So once again, I marked the extra space needed for the washer and this separator is in the upright position which means I need to cut it away just as I did on the other side so after tightening it just enough to hold the, the wheel in place I'm gonna check it if it spins freely which, is the, which it does also, I'm gonna spin it using its power and as you can see, it spins freely without any sound of friction which tells me I have done a good job and now I'm gonna tighten this and this all the way after which I'm gonna put the plastic cover back on So unfortunately, I uh, lost a couple of uh, minutes of filming yesterday but I just wanted to show you guys that now the wheel assembly is, is back on I do need to to cut away, to chip away of this plastic a bit I don't know if you can see it guys so basically I had to use my Dremel tool and just chip away of the plastic wall right here I don't know if you can see that it gets a little a bit thinner around here but you need this because uh, the nut does not have any room now that the wheel is a bit more down so basically once this is done <coughs> just put this cover back on both on the left side and on the right side and as you can see the wheel is fully mounted and is ready to be tested outside so this was it uh, I hope this uh, little tutorial helps you upgrade your tire, your frontal tire on a Xiaomi M365 electric scooter, pro or the regular one. And if you consider it useful, I really much appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up. And of course, you can always subscribe to my channel. I'm planning to add a lot more uh, do-it-yourself projects, homemade projects, in the near future. Thanks again.